uh, greeting viewers welcome to my other youtube video so in this video i will let you know that how you can print the papers jpgs or other documents um, in a python automatically uh, so yeah let's start so for printing uh, for uh, for this purpose i'm going to use a library is called a win32 prnt print so this is a library you can install this library if you have if you are using a pycharm then just need to be click on the file go to file then go to settings and on the setting you you need to go into the interpreter click uh, as you can see the plus sign on there install alt insert so that's the hotkey so you just need to be type in 32 prnt print so it's just a printing library you just need to install i already have it so i don't need to be installed it twice so once the file installs successfully so with the help of a uh, pip if you are using a uh, other ide like um, I ideally of a python built-in so you just need to be write this command pip m install and win 32 prnt print so this is the library that you can install from there so at this moment uh, the code which i'm going to write is only going to work on the windows so further i will upload another video in which i will show you that how you can use the same process on a mac as well so yep i, I just import the library without uh, wasting any time let's start so first of all i'm going to print out the list of the printer that are available at the moment on my system so okay this is environmental issue So I just restart my console. Import. Win. That happens in a, a PyCharm. Sometimes your console get hanged. So don't worry about that. You you can restart. Uh, you can restart the console by the rerun button. So now I'm going to print out the uh, list of printers that are available on there. So with the help of a Win32 PR and print and dot enum is a built-in functions enum. Uh, Printers in a printers the list of, I'm going to get the list of printers that are available on there dot PR into print dot PR into printer Printer in UM enum local and no any none and the one that's it for so now uh, as it's stored in a enum so on the right hand side you can see the all the process that are doing on uh, that has been done on there like which variable are control uh, which variable what kind of module as you can see there in this modules it contain the uh, the benefits of running a code is that uh, on the console firstly that you can see hold the process as you can do in the visual studio so as you can see that uh, it's good it generate a tuples tuples uh, so with the zero one two three four five so these are the list of printers that are available on there so i if i am going to expand these tuples so it's contain the integer string and the these are the second tuple the second index is contain the list of uh, printers name of the printers that are available at the moment so for you uh, for print out the list of printer from the tuples so you just need to be use a loop uh, printer in PR printers so print because i'm going to print out the second index of each tuple so uh, PR into printer and the second index boom so now i got the list of the printers that are available on there so i'm going to use that hp dexject 36 uh, T0 printers that's the name of the printer that I'm going to use so I'm going to cre uh, clear out the console so now once the console has been cleared out so first of all I have to specify which file I'm going to print so for printing any file you have to provide them a complete path is an absolute path you uh, relative path you you need to provide the complete part on there so I already have this part on my system or you can grab them from the any other library any other sources like example if I'm going to print out this uh, first jpg go to the property uh, so that's the location get the location of the system and uh, place it on there and then i'm going to get the name of the file dot jpeg 
that's it so now I have the complete part of the system uh, keep in mind if you are going to uh, in a OS uh, in a Python there's a library OS dot OS so with the help of our OS dot uh, work or OS dot directory you uh, you can get the get absolute part of this file so now the that's a file now I'm going to initiate the variable where I'm going to specify which printer I'm going to use so you can make it dynamic or you can with the help of all of you can uh, use a multiple printers uh, for the different documents depending on your requirement so uh, as I'm going to text uh, uh, chat so I'm just going to take the name from the runtime variable Mm, copy value I'm going to paste the values on there that's it so now the values has been uh, copied so now I have to specify so in a printer or in a uh, whenever you're trying to read any files any kind of file so what you have to specify you have first of all you have to read the file then you can make uh, made a further actions on it so file underscore handle so I'm going to create a two handler one of them is the file handler and the second of them is the printer handler so the handle is equal to open what I'm going to open I need to specify the file as I already created the file on there uh, with the path and I'm going to open in the RB RB means a read binary for my intra read binary for me now that's done now I'm going to create the printer handle underscore handle so on there for the printer handle win32 prnt print dot uh, open printer I have to specify which printer I'm going to open with the name so as the name is already stored on there that's the name of the printer so I just to copy from the printer underscore name and that's it so now once the printer has been copied a uh, printer has uh, printer uh, has been opened so the next step is to specify what kind of data we are you are going to send job underscore info that's the another variable that I'm going to use uh, job underscore info you can use it further to get to know the status of the process that is the printer has been printed out the paper or no or if it's come with an error so uh, you can it, it can let you know that what kind of issue is, is getting or is facing during the printing of the uh, document so the print dot uh, start dot printers so I'm going to start the printer so it's going to uh, I need to be specify the printer handle printer handle in which printer I'm going to use and you can't specify the printer name on there because uh, on the printer handle is a different command who's going to handle the printer now so that's why I have to specify the printer underscore handle and the one is the level and then the name of the file path which I'm going to specify on there or file path as the file is already stored in there and then um, that's the default parameter so raw means that uh, you are going to send a unprocessed data so that's now it's done it says in that the printer printer header is now defined pr ter because the variables are not defined on there now it's done and now the next step is to start a uh, printing win 32 so on there you're gonna uh, on my uh, talks but I will show you that now the documents are in pending of a printer because of the uh, my printers are not connected at the moment so file in for print 32 to print dot start start page printer so which printer I'm going to use PRTER underscore handle so now I'm go uh, write, going to write another command to writing uh, the papers on the printers so uh, print dot write printer and which printer I'm going to use and what kind of files I'm going to handle uh, write on there we are into printer handle underscore uh, file underscore path that's it once it's done so I'm going to read out the file from there read uh, as a reason of this not but specify so uh, because I uh, I'm getting this error attribute str object has no attribute read because it's just a string so if it just as it's just a string so I have to write a file underscore handle which have the all the quality 
about the file streaming so i'm going to replace it with the file underscore handle that's it as you can see it's showing the size of the files and now the next step is to or once the uh, next step is to start up uh, end the printer that you have to uh, print out all the page is going to adjust the uh, paper size or the resolution automatically that's why i sent our Page printer, that's the other end of and print printer underscore handle. That's it. And the other process and the talk. As I, as you can see that I start two things at the uh, on the first on the fuel on the above lines, start printer and the writing printer. Now I have to end the once the process done, I have to uh, write another command and printer error and then end document as well. And 32 dot And doc printer and which printer I'm going to be ended now on this person prnt er underscore hnd handle yes sir so now as you can uh, soon uh, I'm going to show you that some of the files uh, yeah as you can see, I'm going to open my HP desk so is just see that the one of the files are in pending orders now at the moment so is the first JPG which is just requested our team not uh, five uh, Two minutes ago so these documents are in pending so pending means that whenever I'm trying to connect my whenever uh, my printer get connected to the uh, laptop so it's automatically going to take a printout so as also is depending on the how many processes have you done so uh, the four documents are in a queue so now uh, that's a good practice that whenever you are trying to or whenever you are opening something like a file as a read or as a write format or as a pending format that's a good practice to close the file as well because if you are not going to close that and you are going to open the same file again or the different files then it's going to give you an error that uh, the files is already open uh, so you have to first of all you have to close them print underscore handle so now the printer has been a uh, printer has been closed now uh, the win 32 print dot close printer has been done now and now I'm going to close the file as well Let close that's it so as you can see that that uh, now the printer has been uh, is going to be print the file automatically without having an issue but uh, sometimes if your papers come running out then you can find out the issue with the help of a joke underscore info the what's the issue and it will show you the complete details uh, what was the issue as it just uh, because it's yep is this a status so as you can see all the process on the right hand side so that's why I run the all the commands instead of in a batch format I run the commands individually to show you the how the process are going on there so uh, yeah uh, that's a whole process there I, will, uh, I just show you that how you can make the whole process automatically whole process printed so I'm going to place a uh, place this code on the into my description so if you guys have any questions so just let me know thanks and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks bye